Hey guys, this is Lee here. And in this video, I'm going to show you the brand new changes that Laser Performance has done to the brand new Sunfish hull. And if you haven't owned a brand new Sunfish in the last two years or so, these changes are going to be really radical. So stay tuned to the end of the video and you'll get all the new features of a new Sunfish. But before we get to the video, I'd like to thank all the subscribers who are helping continue to help the channel grow. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please Press that subscribe button down there. It helps the channel grow and I really appreciate it. And now to the video. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about the new changes that are up and coming for the new Sunfish. And the new Sunfish is going to be manufactured all in Portugal. So all the parts are gonna be manufactured in Portugal and so is the hull. So some of these newest design changes are pretty radical from what we're used to. So the changes in this new Sunfish, there are some of the biggest changes that Sunfish has ever seen since 2005 when the manufacturer made a fiberglass rudder to be an option for the Sunfish. Change is pretty slow for the Sunfish sailboat. It's all the way back in 1995, the plastic rudder cheeks were introduced and they were changed from aluminum. Back then, the plastic rudder cheeks were introduced by Sunfish Laser and that's when the boats weighed in at 129 pounds. And the newest boats that are coming out of Europe before they are starting to be made in Portugal is from the UK. And the boats that just came out last year from the United Kingdom a friend of mine, Joe, from Long Island, has one. He says it weighs about 112 pounds. The current builder now is Laser Performance, or LP. And a few years ago, they were making some changes to the manufacturing process, the materials, and even the factories where they were being made. Some of these factories came out of Rhode Island, then they moved to China, and then the UK. Back in 2016, I went to the World Championships in Cartagena, Colombia, and there were boats supplied by China factories. And let's just say, I'm glad that they're not being made in China anymore. And back in 2017, I was asked to review a boat that was made in the UK. So I got to sail this boat for a little bit and I made some evaluations, nothing very technical like the report that LP just made. It was a lighter boat. It didn't have foam blocks and the finish was pretty nice. Was it a faster boat? I really don't know. However, when you have a new boat that's newer and stiffer and it's going to be somewhat lighter, it is going to be a little bit faster, I believe. That new boat from the UK also had some parts missing that we were used to with older boats. For instance, they didn't have that rubber rail along the cockpit, so it's like an edge of polished fiberglass. So that wasn't too bad, but it wasn't there. Also, the whole major difference that you couldn't see is that they were manufactured without foam blocks similar to how a laser is manufactured. Now these new boats that are coming out with the new manufacturing process it's not if they were going to be lighter or faster it's really going to tell in the future how good do they hold up over time. And personally, I didn't have the boat long enough to see whether or not it gets soft over time. I just had it for a couple of months. Now in 2021, I went to the Midwinters down at Davis Island Yacht Club, and I learned that LP was going to move all their manufacturing and all their parts and supplies to Portugal. I spoke to LP shortly afterwards, and they were saying how this was going to help centralize the manufacturing process and the supply process and help with any part shortages and any delays. Now Laser Performance had the Sunfish class and some evaluators evaluate this new Sunfish sailboat and the evaluators came up with several suggestions. I'm gonna go over a few of these suggestions and focus more on the differences and the new parts and the new differences in the Sunfish hull. The 19 page report was pretty thorough as it went over certain things like fit and finish issues and how things would feel. And then LP gave replies on saying how they were going to fix that or how to improve. Some of the aspects that they were suggested was to fix some issues with some finishes and make things smoother, maybe more rounded. Also some gel coat issues where it could have been thicker on some areas. And LP assured that these changes would be put into effect. Another issue was they were looking at the daggerboard trunk and they suggested to put more fairing compound in there to make sure the daggerboard trunk doesn't leak. And LP says they already have address that. Another issue is that LP is going to go with a standard hiking strap that could be shared with the laser and the sunfish by using a laser length 
hiking strap, evaluation team suggested that they either use a shorter hiking strap, but LP came up with a different idea. They were going to mount the hiking strap at a different location so the hiking strap will perform adequately. Another item that was noted by the evaluators is that the baler was not flush to the hull on the bottom. Now, this has always been an issue with older sunfish, and that's because the hull is a little bit curved. There is a way to make the baler flush with the hull, and I made a video about it, so go check that out if you wanna make your baler flush with your hull. One thing I also learned at the Midwinters was I got to see the new sail that was coming out of Portugal. We will see how they look. If you wanna see this report for yourself, I'm gonna leave a link down below. So just click on that link and it'll show you the report. And if you're getting any value from this video, please smash that like button. I really appreciate it. So now for the really important things. What's really new about the new LP boats that are coming out soon? Well, the first thing is, is that they're not gonna have any foam blocks. This has been going on for about a year or two, and now the Portugal boats are the newest iteration of the boat, and they will continue not to have foam blocks. Now, one of the evaluators stated that they had one of their own personal boats, which was a new boat, get hit by another sailor on the sidewall of the Sunfish, and now there was some pretty significant damage. So the evaluators recommended to put more core matte fiberglass along the sides of the sunfish to reinforce it. LP came back with a response that they're going to take more foam, F-O-M-E, that's how they wrote it in the report. I'm not really sure what F-O-M-E is. Does that mean foam core? Does F-O-M-E, does that mean uh, fear of missing everything? I really don't know. So if you know what F-O-M-E stands for, just leave a description down below. I really appreciate it. So this is how LP responded to the request to add more fiberglass on the sides. And I'm gonna read it. LP says, quote, change the structure of the sidewalls with foam, F-O-M-E, will occur in the year 2022 with tests during 2021. To keep the weight within tolerances, redistribution of foam, F-O-M-E, through the boat will be made, end quote. What does this mean? So they're gonna take the F-O-M-E, about 50 millimeter slices from the sides of the keel, the edge of the chine, and also at the top of the deck, they're gonna take about 50 millimeters, which is about 2.16. It's about that big. But if you have a really big TV, it's like that big. And then they're going to redistribute it to the sides to make the sides stronger. I'm not sure what that's gonna do to the areas where they're gonna take it out, if that's gonna be just as strong, but I have no idea. If you have some idea, leave a comment down below. I read all the comments. Also, the evaluators said they wanted to, they couldn't see inside the hull, but they wanted to make sure that those backing plates were behind all the fixtures on the sailboat, for instance, the bow handle and the fair leads and the cleats. LP said they are using marine wood right now, and they're evaluating three other materials, including PET, which is a high density plastic, and also Dibon, which is an aluminum and plastic composite. And thirdly, they're also looking at aluminum for backing plates. One note that the evaluators noted was that the cockpit in the boat is actually pushed back about one inch further aft than it is in previous boats. So what that did was make the lip where the main sheet block is, or the older boats where the hook is only about 40 millimeters. Now, LP says that there's enough room to add on, and I'm quoting, non-standard equipment and none, N-O-N-E. And I'm pretty sure they probably said there's enough room to mount non-standard equipment. So I don't think that's gonna be really an issue, but it's something that the evaluators mentioned. But what I did notice that LP did underneath their diagram is that they said that the drilling of holes must not occur. So I don't know what that means. Like if you drill a hole in the boat, is the boat gonna explode? Or is the drilling of holes going to void the warranty? I'm really curious about that. So now we come to the area where there's the most changes in the sunfish, and there's three of those. I really want to know what you think. So leave a, a comment down below. So for instance, the first thing I'm gonna talk about is they redesigned a new bow handle. 
the new bow handle, the old bow handle is the curved metal center lines handle that we all know it's just part of the sunfish as back far back as the 60s. Now it's going to be a plastic composite handle and I'm not sure how strong or weak that's gonna be. I really don't know. Some plastics are really, really hard. But the big difference is it's going to be a double handle. There's gonna be a handle on the port side and there's gonna be a handle on the starboard side and there's going to be an upright middle piece also. A lot of people actually don't like this, but I see something different. I see it in a way that if you have two people trying to pull your boat up, then one person could stand on the left side of the boat, one person could stand on the right side, and they're not holding the same handle. Each one has their own handle. So I think that's a positive. Now, another thing about this handle, it's going to be able to be customized with colors along with your splash guard or what they call a combing. So if you wanted to make it orange or yellow or blue, or I believe that you're going to have that option to match your combing to your bow handle. And that might be pretty cool to have. A lot of people with the sunfish like the colors. That might be a positive. And that, would, and that brings us to the combing. The combing is going to be a different material. It's not gonna be fiberglass. It's gonna be somewhat of composite. One of the things that LP was saying in the report is the reasons why they did a new bow handle and the reasons why they did a new combing. And I'm going to tell you what they are. In their first sentence, it says, it's aimed at the younger crowd. I don't know, I don't, I don't think any younger crab cares about a handle on a boat. It's made of sustainable material, which it's pretty good to have a stainless steel bow handle or whatever they've been using for the last 50 years. That's pretty sustainable. It's just keeping its purpose. But when someone tells me this is sustainable, that means it's gonna be designed to be thrown away. I don't know. what is kind of cool is that the colors can be matched and the fourth thing is that they say this is a new design language i have no idea does that mean the old bow handle is like latin and this bow handle is like javascript i have no clue and the third major change that can be seen done by lp is the rudder cheeks they call it the rudder head what they did is they took material and they made it more sleeker and they took material out i hope they put material where it's most stressful because see that crack this is where the material from the middle where they took it out that should be put up right up here because i must have cracked like 70 of these suckers Again, LP says how it has a new design language. It has sustainable materials. This is not going to be color coordinated, I don't think. It just said combing and the bow handle. But they also said it has a cool stylish design. Yo, what's up, dog? I really like your rudder head. Um, you be the judge of that. I know beauty's in the eye of the beholder. I think what most people care about if it, if it works and it doesn't break if you just breathe on it. Now there's a couple of things I did notice in the report. On the last page was page 19 when they were talking about the new the new rudder cheeks. And this is not a new rudder cheek, this is the old design, Class Legal. They had a single tiller, metal tiller, attached to that new rudder cheek. Back in page six of the report, they had a picture of the rudder, but they had a wishbone tiller which is being supplied by the 2021 uh, 2020 boats from the uk i'm guessing and this is only my speculation if they're going to be conscious about materials and moving materials left and right i can't picture them putting a double wishbone metal tiller on the newest boats but i could totally be wrong i could totally be wrong i'm probably wrong and now one other thing that I noticed pretty much right away on the report, and it has nothing really to do with the boat, except when you're doing a report on something, you should rig the boat right when you're trying to evaluate things. And also it has this big sticker on the hull that says sail laser. And on the sail, it says sail laser. I can't see it says sail laser performance. So it just looks like sail laser to me. I don't know, that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. That's just a little detail, a little 
thing that I saw in the background. That's it. That's my report on the report from the report from the evaluators and how LP is going to do. What did you think about the report? And I'd like to hear from you. Leave comments down below. I'll put a link down in the description for the report so you can read it yourself. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell, and then you'll know when I come out with a new video. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you on the water. So what does that mean that they want to attract younger audience? Yo, dude, I really love your bow handle. That That is amazing. What is that, fuchsia?